Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday the 2nd of February 2016. In Monday's Market Alert, I warned about being short before any major high-impact economic news item and more importantly, before any central bank are speaking because uh, at the moment they're using their rhetoric to actually pump the market higher. And again, we saw this yesterday. It's so predictable, it's uh, untrue. So first we had a signal before the high impact news item, which was out at 3 p.m. We don't want to be in the, new, in the market with high impact news items, so this signal is invalid. And then we had uh, Super Mario coming out, the former Goldman boy, head of the European Central Bank speaking. He speaks for about half an hour or more. And you can tell when uh, a central banker has finished speaking because the market uh, then becomes uh, sideways. So you, what you're seeing here is uh, I decide to uh, have a look, see if we're going to get a, a signal after he's uh, finished speaking. The market trades up and uh, then you will see it uh, become sideways and then we get the uh, actual sell signal. And that's usually an indication that they finished because the market's gone up on fresh air listening to uh, these uh, demagogues. And uh, there you see uh, the market uh, coming down and filling the trade. The market then using the 16,400 as a resistance level. And we see the market come down to the uh, 16,350 level in just a minute. And there we've got the end of that trade and of course we've got Fisher speaking that's the medium impact at uh, 6 p.m. there another uh, Fed representative and again you don't really want to be in the market when they're speaking either so you'll see the market uh, put in the sell signal there you certainly don't want to be sure with uh, any central banker speaking as I keep uh, barking on about we then get uh, a potential buy signal here for uh, uh, just after Fisher's uh, spoken, we see the market moving higher. This one I was not in. I like to give the market uh, half an hour or more when they finish speaking before deciding on getting into the market. So you'll see, again, we've got a potential short there. And then we get uh, the long here. So the, he's long gone from now. He hasn't got that much to say, but enough to give the market a lift. And that's the whole purpose of wheeling these people out is to just move the market high and you'll see prices then heading back up towards the uh, 16,450 the minor psychological level there. notice how the market drives through the uh, 20 point scalp at this level as well and this is what you're looking for to actually hold a trade to either the psychological levels or beyond as well but we are getting into uh, the latter part of the trading session here so you'll see the market uh, pull back a bit before actually going up to the next psychological line, which is a good place to actually exit the trade there. So as uh, stated in Sunday's, uh, well, the recording on Sunday, but Monday's market alerts about uh, what the central bankers' uh, objectives are. You saw it uh, executed perfectly yesterday, two out and the market higher. That's exactly how it's going to work for the near term. It's, that's how it's worked for the last eight years. That's why it's so predictable. There is a pattern there. The market is hanging on to the central bank, uh, central bankers, every word, in the hope that they can rescue the markets from what is actually coming, and they can't. But uh, it helps in the interim, and it just helps to uh, boost the prices. What uh, you're seeing here, right? Let's have a look at uh, the daily chart. See what uh, happened during yesterday as well. In the daily chart, we see the market uh, moving higher yesterday as uh, expected and now seeing the market starting to run out of steam i'm just going to pop in a couple of other resistance areas to the upside there but uh, the market stopping we might have just tested uh, this one here let's just have a look we have indeed uh, 16,484 is where the market uh, stopped and now we're seeing get uh, the market back below the 16,418 and for me this is a big enough retracement now to start seeing prices struggle because of the central banks having been out last week and yesterday for prices to move lower let's just have a look in the news today see if we've got anybody else being wheeled out today we've got uh, fomc member george uh, speaks and 
he's going to be out at uh, 6 p.m. So during the quieter time, medium impact, he's got the same sort of status as Fisher. So, but again, you're going to see a lot of this wheeling them out just to try and convince the market that everything's fine and they know what they're doing and they haven't got a clue what they're doing. Take it from me, otherwise the markets wouldn't be doing what they're doing now if the market believed in what they were doing. They simply don't, which uh, all stems back to Yellen's decision to increase uh, interest rates by a quarter of 1% in December. It wasn't uh, a unilateral decision by her, of course, but the net effect is uh, that the collective... Uh, appear to not know what uh, they are doing. It's all based upon the labour market, which I've said before, removes six million from its uh, calculations, makes it look good, whilst all the other economic news is actually showing and making new lows. But, uh, you know, they're a law unto themselves. Anybody with an ounce of common sense and logic can see that it isn't going to work and it will never work as uh, far as the QE programme is concerned. But that's uh, another story. On the implied volatility front, 17.49 dropping nicely, getting ready for another correction in this market to the downside. So there's a bit of uh, breathing room now. There's a uh, froth has come out of the market, allowing it to actually move lower. And even uh, JP Morgan yesterday was saying it's time to fade the rally. And what they mean by that is that if you haven't bought the current bounce and bear squeeze, then you should... Uh, think about uh, getting short not actually buying and that I couldn't agree more when you look at the chart there is looking a bit tired having bounced a bit so we've got the traditional dead cat bounce unless of course we get some uh, rhetoric from one of the Fed members to move the market uh, a bit higher right that's it uh, for today I'll see you in tomorrow's edition of the market alert as ever thank you for your support also for watching I'll see you in the next one